Hi guys, in this video we're gonna take a look at how to work with images in React Native and just to make it a bit more fun we will be building this app menu screen which works on both iOS and Android phones. We will create this background image with an overlay container which has a transparent colored background, a header and some menu items. And since React Native version 0.5 they dropped the support of nesting components inside an image so we will take a look at how to use the image background component for that instead. And as you can see I already got my emulator running and I created this project with the create react native app command. And if you don't know how to get started with creating apps with react native, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to one of my videos where you learn how to install node and the create react native app command. And I'll also leave a link to my Udemy course how to become an app developer which covers the basics of how to get started with creating apps really fast. And also let me know in the comments what tutorials you'd like to see, it can be all from web development, databases, mobile apps and so on. So let's get started with this app now. First of all I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all the code so we can start over from a fresh project. I'm just gonna create a view here so we don't get any warnings. Also I'm gonna delete the style sheet. And I'm gonna remove this import and I'm gonna remove the image background component. And I'm gonna delete this uh, menu item component I created. We're gonna create it from scratch. And also go ahead and um, create a new app folder. And inside it, create a components folder and an image folder. And go ahead and download a couple of images. I've just downloaded a couple of images and put them here for icons and the background image we will be using. So go ahead and do that before you start. So now I'm just going to reload the emulator and we should have a fresh project. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to use the image background. So go ahead and import the image background. We're going to use it for the background of our app. And we're going to create it right here. And we're gonna give it a source. And let's set the source to. Uh, we're gonna use require. This is how you get an image in React Native. You set the source to require and then the path to the image. In my case, it's an app image background.jpg. And let's also create a style for this. We can call this container. And close it up down here. So now this is what's new in React Native, you use an uh, image background, before you did like this, you had an image like this, but this image component does not support nested uh, components inside it anymore, but the image background does, so we will use the image background. Now let's just create the styles for this fast, uh, we're gonna set the flex 1, we're gonna set the width to 100%, and let's set the height to 100% as well. Now the flex, the flex property will uh, make the image background fill up the entire screen. So it's gonna start here and end over here, and it's gonna start up here and end down here. So no matter the screen size, the image background will resize itself to the screen's size. And we're gonna go ahead and add all of our content inside this image background. So this will be our main container in this case. Now let's just see what happens if we reload the emulator. As you can see, we got this image right now. And that's exactly what we want. So now let's go ahead and create uh, another container, a view. We're gonna give it a style of styles.overlay container. And this is just going to be a normal view with a background uh, color applied to it. Um, we can go ahead and create the style right now. Uh, let's set flex to 1 so it takes up the entire screen and also we're going to add a background color. We're going to use RGBA in this case which lets us add an alpha channel to the to the color which gives us some transparency on the color we're gonna add. So let's define this, we're gonna give it 47, 163, 218 and then let's set the opacity to 0.4. Now this is equal to 0.4. Let's reload and see what we got. 
Yeah, so now we got this blue kind of overlay tint view. So we're gonna work with that. Now what we wanna do is we wanna create a top part where we can add a header. So let's just define a new view. Give it a style of, uh, let's just call it top. And inside the top container, we're just gonna keep our logo or, or header or what you want to call it. Let's create a new text component. We're gonna give it a style. Let's call it styles.header. And I'm just gonna add some text here. Let's say home. Now I'm actually using uh, spaces between here just to make it look better. In CSS you would use letter spacing of course, but in React Native letter spacing is only supported on uh, iOS and not on Android. So I'm gonna just add spaces here to make it look a little bit better. Then except for the top part, we're also gonna need a, a container to add our menu items. So create a new view. And we can give this a style of, uh, let's call it menu container. So. And that's it for the markup. Now we're just gonna add the uh, styling to the top part, this part, and then the header part, which is gonna be inside the top part. And then for the menu container down here, we're gonna place the menu items later. We're gonna create a new component for, for important uh, menu items. So now let's go ahead and create a style sheet for the top part. Let's give it a height. We can set it to 50%. So the top part is gonna start up here and end right in the center. And we're also gonna set the align items to center. And we're also gonna set the justify content to center. Now this will center all content inside the top view, both along the X axis and Y axis, which is what we want. We're gonna create the header style. We can give this a color for the text. Now we can give it a hex color FFF that's equals to white. And let's add a big font size. We can give it 28. Let's also give it a border. We can set the border color to white as well. And let's set the border width to two. Yes, so it's visible. And let's add padding 20. This will, this will be padding top and padding bottom. Then we're gonna add a little bit more padding to the left, let's say 40, and some padding to the right, uh, 40 as well. We're also gonna set a background color just for the header to make it look a little bit, a little bit better. We're gonna use RGBA once again to add some transparency to it. So let's just define white. This is 255, 255, 255, and then just a lot of transparency, so 0 0.1. And uh, let's reload now and see what we got. Yeah, so now we actually got the header right here. So we got this top part now going down here, and we got this header part centered inside it. And everything lays on top of the overlay container or inside overlay container, which is on top or inside the image background. All right, and this will adapt itself. All of this will adapt itself to the screen size automatically. Now let's also create the menu container which we specified down here. Let's create the stats for it. Uh, we can give it a height of 40%. You could of course give it 50% because we got 50% available, but let's give it 40% so it will end down here somewhere. And let's also set the flex direction to row. Oops, sorry, flex direction to row. Now this will make it uh, possible to uh, align our uh, menu items inside the menu container later along the X axis. So they will be stacked uh, next to each other on the X axis. The default flex direction in React Native is column. So the, like this, so you have to specify row. In CSS, this is actually the opposite. Um, but in React Native, always specify row if you're gonna need a row. If you're working with CSS, uh, the default flex direction is row. So it's the total opposite. But for now, we're gonna just, uh, set it to row and keep it there. 
and also let's add the flex wrap set to wrap this will allow our flex items inside here later or the menu items inside here later to uh, also be stacked along the y-axis so they can wrap across multiple lines okay so we can have three items here and they then they wrap so we got three items below here as well so that's it for the app.js component the main component now what we want to do is we want to create a component that can hold all our items here the menu items so it's really easy as to import them in some way so we're gonna go ahead and let's create a go up to the components folder let's create a new file and let's save this as menu item.js and just create a new import react from react and we're gonna need to import a couple of things we're gonna need the view and we're gonna need the image and also the style sheet we want to import this from react native so let's define a new class so export default class and we're calling this the menu item so menu item and it extends the react component this is just how you declare classes in in react native or how you declare components in other words and we're also gonna need the render method and it's gonna return the uh, markup or the layout so in the layout we're gonna return a new view as you can see now this is looking a bit weird it's because I'm not using syntax babel so I'm gonna go up here and change the syntax babel if you haven't got this installed just google how to install it in sublime text it's really easy also let's add a style here as well let's say uh, we can call this menu item and inside this view we're gonna use the image now the image takes a source and in this case we're gonna actually pass the source of the image as a prop from the app component so from this component all right so yes say this prop those props and we can name this prop whatever we want let's name it item image that's perfectly fine and add a style to it we can just name it image and create the styles for that in just a second so now we should be able to define some styles for this so create a new style sheet and we're gonna start by declaring the styles for the menu item so the container for the menu item component let's say you want three of these menu items in a row so we got one item here one item here and one item here that means the width is gonna, width is gonna be 33 percent so let's say 33 dot 33 three, three, oops percent so we got three items per row let's set the height to 50 percent and also let's add some padding to 20 just to get some padding from the menu item to the actual image we're gonna add inside the menu item so to this image so we're gonna have some padding between here now let's also create the styles for the image so we're gonna set the width to a hundred percent and this is a hundred percent width relative to the menu item which is the parent view let's add a width of 100% as well and this same thing there is relative to the menu item and we can add some opacity to this it's gonna look better let's say 0 to 8 and also let's add a border color we can put it to white and as well as a border width we can make this pretty large so something like that so now these menu items will be able to uh, stack along the x-axis next, next to each other when we place them in the app.js inside the menu container now we're gonna check out check out if this works before we add any images let's just try to import menu item from and uh, menu 
item like that and let's try to import it here so let's just say many item we can create let's create two of these and open up the menu item and now let's try it out let's add a background color to this menu item uh, we can give it uh, light gray ccc and let's add a border to it just to check how it looks we can give it black and try to reload the emulator now and see what we got yeah so we got this uh, two boxes now the me too many items components next to each other along the x-axis now I don't know why the border color is not showing let's try to add a border width yeah that's it um, so now we got two menu items right here and we're just gonna take a look to see if they stack as we told them to stack so now we should have three yeah that's correct and now when we add three more they should be stacked below here so let's reload them later and see if it works yeah and that's exactly what we want so uh, everything seems to be working now we just have to try to pause the image prop all right the image prop that we set in here as a source for these images because the image is here we are not specifying um, a source for it so of course it won't display anything so let's go ahead and remove this background color and the border color and the border width because we're not going to use that and open up app.js and uh, let's just spe specify the prop so item image equals with now we're just gonna require an image again so let's require an image from app slash components no sorry app slash image slash let's say icon1.png you will name this whatever you uh, name them when you download them and let's reload now and see if we got some result yeah so this image is actually showing now so we got one menu item let's just duplicate this now now and create a couple more so one icon three icon four icon five and let's say icon four again and reload and yeah now everything seems to be working correctly so that's how you use uh, the image background as well as adding some overlay styles and uh, creating a custom component for the for the image like this now this is really dynamic as well since all the menu items are specified from one source only so if you if you add one change here let's say you added a new view and added some icons inside each image or whatever you just have to specify it in one place which makes it pretty dynamic and easy to work with so that's it for working with images and uh, image backgrounds